It may be a hard knock life, but what's it really like when youth and opportunity meet in the movie industry? Hey guys, it's Phoebe with Watch Mojo. Today we're taking a look at what it's really like to grow up in Hollywood. What will happen to me now? Council have granted me permission to train you. You will be a Jedi, I promise. Child actors can quickly find themselves at the center of the Hollywood machine, which they know nothing about. Let's take a look. I figured that part out for myself. So what's the deal? We can all imagine a favorite television show or movie where one child or a cast of kids are clearly the stars, and there can be a lot of pressure resulting from this heavy responsibility. Here, adult actors and crew members are essentially beholden to their young co-stars. Their performance and behavior all dictate whether or not those people continue to receive a paycheck. You need practice. We'll do this every day. Unfortunately, the cliché of child stars cracking under these sorts of pressures is something that's become all too common within the world of entertainment. Cautionary tales and potholes on the road to fame and fortune. What you talking about, Willis? <laughs> Names like Corey Haim, Gary Coleman, Dana Plato, and Aaron Moran sadly became known more for their self-medication and bad behavior than any of the wonderful performances they gave over the course of their shortened careers. The nature of enabling isn't exclusive to the movie industry, but there have certainly been plenty of instances where those in charge feel that it's easier to feed a young celebrity's addictions in order to keep the money flowing rather than confront what's going on. There's a number on the back. And pray that you never need to call us. I'll pray I never need to call you. Matilda star Mara Wilson wrote an insightful article on the subject for Cracked in 2013, where she highlights specifics about her time as a child actor, as well as the dangers she saw growing up in Hollywood. The article mentions how important boundaries are for young performers, boundaries hopefully set up by loving and thoughtful parents behind the scenes. Working around so many adults can be challenging for a kid trying to enjoy their adolescence. So if normal activities such as school are put into the mix, it makes the adjustment between work and the real world just a little easier. It may seem as if we keep going back to the negative with this article, but that's not the intention. Sadly, however, not every guardian has their child's best interest at heart, and this has become a cliché of its own in the form of the typical Hollywood parent. It could be the misuse of that child's funds or the simple pressure of overworking them to the point where it's unhealthy. It all goes back to being that cash cow, upon which the livelihood of a film or TV show rests. You can't go now. When you have to. We're right in the middle of Charlotte's Web. Who's gonna finish it? So notorious is this sort of parent that there's actually a law on the books in California that attempts to protect children from this sort of abuse. It's the California Child Actors Bill, also known as the Coogan Act, and it's named for actor Jackie Coogan, who's best known for playing Uncle Fester on the original Adams Family. School? I never went to school and look how I turned out. Coogan had enjoyed tons of success as a child actor, but saw all of his money squandered by his mother and stepfather. The bill that's in his name requires those who employ child actors to place 15% of what they earn into a trust, while also ensuring that those actors don't work too many hours in the day and are allowed time off for school and family. Hey. Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Not even me. All right? Another side of growing up in Hollywood deals with the children of famous celebrities and how they react to living their lives in the public eye. Having a sense of self can prove challenging when an average family structure gets turned upside down by throwing fame into the mix. Some celebrities cast a large shadow on their children, bringing with it the pressure to live up to expectations to enter the business. Now, is this your first Academy Award? Yeah. I'd like to say hello. That's a gorgeous dress. Beautiful. Are you nervous for your dad tonight? I'm sorry, Daddy. This pressure may come from within or be projected by the media, and depression can easily set in for those who may try and fail to walk in the footsteps of their parents. Hey, everybody. Hello. Well, at least you got here before Elijah did. Hey, Uncle Steven, Pappy, Mom. Hello, darling. Hey, little man. A little bit earlier. Good to see you, son. To see you, Dad. Today's kids have the pressures of social media tacked on top of it all, adding more eyes to a public that watches every move they make. How can a Hollywood kid ever know who their friends truly are? 
Thankfully, there have also been plenty of child actors who have made it through dark periods to lead fruitful lives, regardless of whether or not they continue to act. I did experiment with drugs and I did try them and I'm actually really glad I got that over with so that I could, you know, it's like, I almost am sadder when I see adults doing drugs than kids because the adults know better, you know, or hopefully know better. Drew Barrymore, Jason Bateman, Will Wheaton, and Shirley Temple Black all managed to buck the trend of being a victim of child acting. They give her to me, I'll take care of her. I'll wash her face and make her some clothes and everything. Mara Wilson is another who can be added to that list, despite the fact that she decided not to continue acting into adulthood, save a small role here and there. Hi, what would you like? Hey. This isn't to say that she didn't have plenty of criticisms about some of the things she saw around her, especially when it came to how some adults dealt with children. Wilson mentions a specifically awkward memory from the Nine Months premiere, where she was asked about the prostitution bust of Hugh Grant. Sometimes, even the best-intentioned parents are unable to control every situation or interaction with their child, especially when that child is part of a huge Hollywood machine. It isn't just Hollywood that's out to exploit child actors either, as Wilson recalls another, even more serious memory about finding images of her on a foot fetish website when she was just 12 years old. It was like your worst fear come to life, because your worst fear is, oh, you know, are people watching me? Are people looking at me? And it was like, yeah, they were. People were talking about mm -hmm. my body on film sets and on the internet. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Immoralities and illegalities aside, it's a slippery slope from the public eye to a private life. Fame can be one hell of a drug, and it can be difficult to adjust if it fades or disappears completely. But what is there to do? Some child actors or celebrity families feel like they have to work in the entertainment industry because that's all they know how to do. Sometimes there's a public meltdown, followed by rehab and the inevitable forgiveness by a public that's awaiting the next reality show reunion. I tried to witness to her, but this girl is defiant to any type of help. Does anybody here think they can talk to her in a way that might get her to see what she's doing is wrong? It can be a vicious cycle, which is why Mara Wilson decided to focus on writing. But not every child star story has that sort of ending. You spook easily, Starling? Not yet, sir. Hopefully, however, we as a society can use the knowledge gained from experiences such as hers to help future child stars from falling into the same self-destructive patterns. You're in trouble, aren't you? Who... Who are you in trouble with? And in today's ultra-connected world, reaching out for help may just be a little easier for those in the limelight who truly need it. Right, I, I admit, what I did was wrong, but what you did was wrong too. And there you have it. For better or worse, that's the true story of growing up in Hollywood. What did you guys think? Let us know in the comments or tweet me at Phoebe underscore WM and check out this video.